Hi guys. Hi everybody. Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you how we create a antiqued mercury glass mirror. Yes. Out of um, one of the frames we picked up in our last thrift haul that we showed to you guys um, last Sunday. So we hope you'll stick with us and see how we create this look. We do want to thank our friend Pam. Cranberry Cottage. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Um, our friend at Pam, uh, Cranberry Cottage, as mom just said, um, she's the gal we've mentioned before that we buy a lot of our paint and transfers from. She, um, we learned this great technique from her that actually eliminates the use of some of the harsher chemicals that you typically have to use when creating this look. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> We're leaving it in, people. Sorry guys, we can't control the neighbors. So anyway, um, I was saying we used to use a product by Amy Howard that was very... Um, caustic. Yes, very caustic. You had to, you know, glove up and wear very a mask. Very time consuming and, too. It was, yeah. it was more than a one or two step process, so this technique she taught us is pretty awesome it's awesome we love it Pam Mwah. thank you it's <laughs> it's wonderful so we're excited to share this with you guys so we hope you'll stick around and let's get into the tutorial okay quick side note yes. <laughs> oh here's more we've seriously been trying to do this intro and we've tried several times first it was the dogs going crazy then it was people in the field adjacent to my mom and dad's house. And here they go again. Now it's the neighbor revving their engine up. So, sorry guys, you're gonna get us today. <laughs> Bloopers, we're sweaty, we're tired. It's been a long day. Very but long we day. really hope you enjoy the tutorial, so. I think the car is leaving now that we're done. <laughs> now that we're now done. That we're done. So. But yes. <laughs> This is the first day we reached triple digits. Thank you, man upstairs, for that. Because yes. I don't know if we could have tolerated much of this prior to this day. Because so. <laughs> this day's been very unnerving. So And very hot. We hope you'll bear with us through this tutorial because it was kind of um, chaotic as well. So we hope you enjoy, guys. We and love you all. Thank we you love for you. subscribing. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so for this DIY, what we have done is we took one of our frames that we picked up while thrifting, we took the backing off the frame, took the artwork out, and now we have our glass out here and on the table. We've cleaned it really good with some glass cleaner, and we are going to, like we said in the intro, show you how to create an antiqued looking mirror with just a few inexpensive products and um, a little bit of time. So let's get started. We'll show you what you're gonna need other than a clean piece of glass. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is some vinegar. We have put ours in a spray bottle. We used white distilled vinegar. Some looking glass spray paint. This is made by Krylon. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Depot, maybe even Lowe's. We got ours at Home Depot. Some black spray paint. Any kind of black spray paint will do. So we just picked up this really inexpensive color place uh, black spray paint. We use this on some of our other prod, uh, projects, but this is like 97 cents at Walmart. So very inexpensive. And you're gonna wanna use some baby wipes as well. So what we're gonna start with doing, like I said, our glass is already clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our glass down with the vinegar. Come on, spray bottle. Prime your bottle first. Yeah, prime your <laughs> bottle before you start your DIY or filming. Okay guys, so we're just going to spray it down. And then we're going to take our looking glass spray paint. Which we should have had already shaken up. We're really but batting it You guys, we're winging it today. It's extremely hot out. You're getting a very detailed 
DIY today. We're showing you how to shake the paint. <laughs> I'd give it another little. Yeah. So on the glass, and it's going to be hard to see because we're outside, but you can already kind of see how the vinegar has kind of separated. And that's really what we want it to do. And so now I'm going to start spraying. Are you coming back over here? Or um, no, because the wind's blowing it on me. So oh, I'm gonna okay. Get you going so I'll way. go this way then. Ooh, it already has a nice effect. I'm sorry if there's a glow because of the sunlight. Hopefully this is showing up really, really good for you guys. I think you might want to wear a mask. This yeah. smells a little toxic. Okay, so you can see where there's pooling and separation. We're just going to let this sit for a minute. And where it seems like there's really heavy pooling, I'm just taking my baby wipe and I'm gonna kinda go in and pounce it because that will pull a little bit of the paint away. It's giving such a cool, crackled, old mirror effect already. This is like whack-a-mole, I can't keep up with her hand. <laughs> And this is all about your personal preference. How you want it to look will depend on, you know, how much you go in and blot with the baby wipe. I'm gonna show you right here where she blotted quite a bit off and over here. So you're getting the full effect of what she's doing. And we could stop at any moment. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sit and dry for just a few minutes and we'll be back to show you the next step. Okay guys, so we have let our vinegar solution and our looking glass spray paint dry. And we've gone in and uh, used our baby wipe to take some of the paint away in certain areas. It looks fabulous. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to go in with our black spray paint and completely cover the back of the frame of the glass because that is what's going to give it a mirrored effect when we turn it over. So we're going to spray this really good with our black spray paint. Sorry, I got to back up, guys, so I don't get myself painted today. And kind of like I said um, in the last tutorial about spray painting, we're just going to lightly go over this. And then we can add, you know, multiple coats. We are interrupting this special broadcast to bring you a very important message. The filming of this mirror was kind of a catastrophe <laughs> as far as getting it in the right lighting and proper placement to give you guys a really good look of how it turned out. The way we filmed it still did not do this project justice. It really is beautiful it's so pretty you and guys. we love how it turned out so and if we were <laughs> professionals we might know how to do this and if we yeah. had the right equipment and lighting but we don't i mean this is set up on a table on a table against a rock right now so because misty forgot the tripod today <laughs> we hope you'll bear with us so we will now return to our previously scheduled broadcast but she really didn't tell you <laughs> we stopped the process of just showing you the mirror after the mercury oh, glass yes. procedure because it just all it showed was the sky whatever was reflected in the background so we yeah. went ahead and finished the special detail at the end and then filmed the whole mirror so you did not get to see the mirror without the Transfer. transfer on it.
it's been a real S show today, guys. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and we look lovely. We do look so yes. good. Okay, <laughs> we are now going to return to our previously scheduled broadcast. Our next step in this transformation is to put some uh, Redesign with Prima transfers onto our mirror. So we are going to use this transfer, it's called Lavender Bush. And as you can see on the back of the package here, there's lots of flowers and there are some words. The words, I don't feel like they show up as well on this antiqued mercury glass finished mirror. So I think we're just going to do the florals and we'll probably do like a cluster of them in this bottom corner and then maybe a cluster up in the top corner. I'm not going to film us um, applying the transfers. You guys have seen that before in a couple of our other videos. I will link one of them in the description box below. So we're going to go ahead and pick out our transfers and cut out our florals. We'll get it applied and come back and show you the end result. Alrighty guys, here is our finished project. We got our transfer onto our mirror. And as you can see, we did end up using the transfers with the words. Mom and I discussed it off camera and we decided just to go for it and we're thrilled that we did because we love how it turned out. It is really a challenge trying to set this up to show you guys because as you know with it being a mirror it reflects everything and then it becomes very distracting on film. So I know I'm not holding the camera the way that we should to format it for our YouTube but this is the best way for us to show this to you. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just give you an overall of how it turned out. We love this transfer, so pretty. And we actually have um, flowers left that we can use on another project. Give you another little close up of the frame here. So we are super thrilled with how this turned out. We really appreciate you guys watching. We hope you like how the project turned out. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow us on our creative journey, please consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with that notification bell so that you will be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We appreciate you all and hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.